At the present time, everything going very smoothly. Well, we're waiting for verification that the cabin uh, vent was satisfactory, the pressurization was satisfactory, then Commander John Young was asked to prevent the cabin vent. At this time, he opens the vents and allows the pressure to uh, leak out uh, at a predetermined rate. Uh, we're waiting for confirmation that the landing sites are prepared and ready for the launch and expect that they are. Uh, the S-band telemetry system uh, has been switched to high power and the MILA tracking site, that's the tracking site on Merritt Island, is adjusting their uplink command signals to the proper level. The ground launch sequencer mainline computer programs are in the process of being activated. At the present time, everything going smoothly. We're looking for a launch on time at 7 a.m. this morning. The countdown stands at T-minus 33 minutes, 10 seconds, and counting. This is shuttle launch control. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 21 minutes, 42 seconds, and counting. Uh, we're presently preparing to enter the planned 20-minute hold at the T-minus 20-minute point in the countdown. The astronaut John Young has just been asked to uh, close the cabin vents, and they will repressurize the cabin at that time. The primary computer data is being transferred to the backup computer in order for both of them to have the same date. In case of a primary computer system failure, the backup computer will take over command of the shuttle during the launch period. During this 20-minute uh, hold period, there are a number of things which uh, must be done. One of them will be to reset the clock, the countdown clock, and so you will see a movement of that of approximately 51 seconds in order to bring us out at a liftoff at exactly 7 a.m. this morning. We're coming up on that uh, particular hold at this time, about 39 seconds away from it. The weather aircraft uh, will be active at this time. We have a number of aircraft which will be in the air. They include weather aircraft and also chase planes. The, the chase planes will not take off until later at the T-minus nine minute hold period. Uh, with the final plane being launched at T minus five minutes with a very, very tight uh, constraint there. Coming up on the hold, T minus 20 minutes and holding. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 20 minutes and holding approximately one minute and a half before coming out of that built-in hold. The NASA test conductor has conducted a check of the major managers responsible for tonight's launch and determined that they are ready to support the launch as are astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. The orbiter test conductor, the booster test conductor, external test tank test conductor, range safety officer, safety, and other uh, engineers. The uh, NASA test conductor has ordered the countdown to resume, and we will be resuming in just about 52 seconds from now. Going down to a liftoff on time at 7 a.m., we have no weather problems here or at the primary landing sites. Everything continuing to go smoothly. We will count down from this point to the T-minus nine-minute point in the countdown. And at that point, we will hold again for uh, 10 minutes. One of the main things that will happen first in that uh, hold will be the uh, movement of the Gox vent arm or beanie cap back from the external tank. Uh, just a few seconds away, about 15 seconds away from picking up the countdown at the T minus 20 minute point in the count. About five seconds.
and we are at T minus 20 minutes and counting. A purge of the fuel cells, which provide both electricity for the orbiter and drinking water for the crew, is being performed. At this point, the computer has changed to a program known as Major Mode 101, which is the terminal countdown configuration. At this point, the primary computer is can compared with the proper onboard computer to ensure that they are ready for launch. The NASA convoy conductor has verified that the landing convoy at the KSC shuttle landing facility is ready. Uh, in case of a return to launch site abort, the landing would be on runway 15. All of the other launch sites also have confirmed that they are ready to go. Just prior to coming out of the hold, we received verification that the pre-flight alignment of the inertial measurement union, uh, unit had also been completed. And so everything moving along smoothly. The countdown at T minus 18 minutes, 56 seconds, and counting, this is shuttle launch control. Okay, we'll go to manual transition of the assist drops one. Take care when you're ready. Okay, uh, it's PLT, we'll put that work. Okay, we're ready. Stand by 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 17 minutes and counting. Uh, we had a little cheer go up here in the control center at the Kennedy Space Center when it was verified that all four of the uh, general purpose computers on board were communicating properly with the backup computer. This was one of the, the problems, this was the problem, which stopped the countdown on Friday morning when we were trying to have our first launch of the space shuttle. It was determined at that time uh, and after that we were not having a uh, successful communication between the computers. It was suspected originally that it was the backup computer uh, that was having the problem. And then after many hours of work by uh, 50 to 100 uh, computer experts uh, here and at Houston, it was determined that there was a timing skew or a timing problem between two of the four uh, primary computers and the backup computer. The two computers simply tried to talk about 40 milliseconds, 40 thousandths of a second too early to the backup computer, and it said uh, that's not the right time to do that, and it hung up the phone. Uh, however, the, uh, in the meantime, we have gotten the, the computers restarted, uh, properly timed, and they have been running uh, ever since that point, and they will continue to run uh, throughout the mission. At no time would more than two computers be shut down, and the uh, computer experts determined that that particular problem uh, never occurs once the computers are up and running and timed properly, uh, unless they are all shut down and then restarted, and only rarely uh, does that problem appear then. But as it is, everything going along very smoothly, as we come up on the T minus 15 minute point in the countdown, T minus 15 minutes mark, 
This is shuttle launch control. Four lighters in And uh, be off market. Four lighters out. Transmitting AB on. Four lighters on by. Okay, and market A off. Four lighters in And be off. Four lighters out. Okay, STD, that's 100%. STD, copy. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 11 minutes, 45 seconds, and counting. Everything going very smoothly in the countdown at this point. The booster test conductor ordered the gaseous nitrogen purge of the solid rocket booster aft skirts to begin. The Chase aircraft presently at Patrick Air Force Base have been ordered to start their engines, and a check with all the test support team members has verified that they are go for launch. Uh, the main propulsion helium subsystem cockpit switches have been configured for launch, and the helium tank isolation valves are open. In just a few seconds, another check of the aboard advisory system will be conducted. This is a uh, visual signal that would go to the astronauts uh, if it were necessary for them to abort. We're getting within a couple of minutes now of the final build-in hold that comes at the T-minus nine-minute point in the countdown and lasts for a duration of 10 minutes. One of the first things that will happen in that uh, particular hold will be the retraction of the Gox vent arm or beanie cap uh, out of the way. That has uh, been up on top of the external tank. Uh, it has warm uh, gaseous nitrogen, which is used to prevent any buildup of ice uh, from the venting of the liquid oxygen tank. At the uh, present time, we're at T-minus 10 minutes, 23 seconds, and counting. This is shuttle launch control. SCP and EPD, how you doing? Up to about uh, 200. Stand by 30 seconds. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus 9 minutes, 30 seconds, and counting. Just a few seconds away now from our final build-in hold at the T-minus 9-minute point in our countdown. Managers are being polled uh, to determine if we are ready to uh, go ahead. Uh, we've had confirmation from DOD support that contingency support aircraft and personnel are on station and ready to support the launch. About five seconds away now from that final nine-minute build-in hold. We're at T-minus nine minutes and holding. This is the final ten-minute build-in hold. All personnel in the firing room have been asked to remain seated, and no smoking rule has gone into effect through the launch. We have had a uh, report from the orbiter test conductor or to the orbiter test conductor that they are go for launch. At the present time, we know of no major problems as we enter this final 10-minute build-in hold. One of the first events which will occur during this hold will be the retraction of the Gox vent arm, and we are waiting for uh, the command to do that at the present time. T minus nine minute and holding. This is shuttle launch control.
Stand by 30 seconds.